I'm hoping one of these two penny boxes in front of me gives us something for our book. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fine's Treasure and welcome back to my channel. I have a two box penny hunt in our continuing quest to slot another cent in this Dansko Lincoln Penny album. Through the first 261 boxes, we've slotted 208 of the 234 cents that this book holds. We did upgrade a couple of cents last time, but nothing has been added for quite some time. We'll also be looking out for any Canadian small cents. We've slotted 62 of the 115 that those books hold through the first 75 boxes worth of Canadian small cent finds. Now, obviously, I'll give you guys a look at both books at the end after I compare all of today's finds to them. But for now, we're just going to slide them out of the way and get right to the hunt. We do have two circulated penny boxes, which has been tough for me to get lately, but I'm hoping they got some goodies in them. I'll tell you right now that when I look through the holes in the bottom of both boxes, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of copper. But then again, it doesn't always mean there's not going to be a lot of wheat cents. We are looking for oldies, we're looking for goodies, maybe some varieties. We'll take whatever we can get, actually. All right, very first box has popped open, and like I said, you can see the sheer amount of zinc scents that is laced throughout these rolls, at least on the end coins, top and bottom. Hopefully that's not a bad sign of what's inside of them, because we do like stacking copper, and we do like finding goodies. I'll be back when I have my first find from box number one. Roll number seven will give us our first wheat scent that we have found. And it's going to be a 1953 San Francisco to go along with a Canadian scent from 1984. Slow start, but we've started. Roll number 12, wheat scent number two. And that's a 1941 Philly, so we'll quickly check it for any other doubling at the date in Liberty and in the motto, in God we trust. That's just some damage on this coin. I don't see any of the doubling. Earliest wheat scent found, 1941 Philly. Roll number 15 is going to give us our third wheat scent. And I didn't notice it at first because it has a little damage on it. But it's a 1944 and I believe I just saw a mint mark. Let's take a quick peek at it. Yeah, 1944 San Francisco. Barely noticeable, but we'll take it. Roll number 22 will give us sweet scent number four, and it's a damaged 1958 Denver. Last year, wheat scent. Well, roll 28 is going to give us a nice variety. I have a 72 Philadelphia minted penny under the scope. And you always want to check the date first, and I can see a little bit of notching and some extra thickness on the date. But it's a worn coin, so then I move it over to Liberty, and there's a little bit of thickness on the L at the bottom so that helps me identify that it's probably a DDO, but more importantly, when I move up to In God We Trust, you can definitely see the doubling on all of the motto here, especially on the TRUST. There's doubling across it all. And based on it being to the left, and there's no die markers above the T's on trust, and based on how it's doubled across the coin, even though it's in circulated condition, I'm fairly certain I have an FS103. There's a lot of doubles on 1972 Phillies, and I do find them from time to time. It's been a little bit. This coin is probably in XF condition, and XF doubling FS103 is probably only about a $10 to $15 coin, but it's still a nice find. I have a better one in my collection, but I'll add it to the board. It's good to see a variety in one of the boxes. 28 rolls in. We have a DDO, four wheat cents, four Canadians, and a couple of 59s. Now let's find some more goodies. Very next roll, roll number 29. Wheat scent number five. A 1948 Philadelphia. Roll number 30. Wheat scent number six. Pretty damaged. But it's a 52 Denver, I believe. No. 52 San Francisco. I think we have three or four wheat scents that have a San Francisco mint mark, and that's a lot for me early on. Roll 34 will have wheat scent number seven. It was only the second coin into the roll. And it's a 55 Denver. Roll number 36. Wheat scent number eight. A 53 Denver. Well, we finished that first penny box. And like it began, it ended very cold. But we do have eight wheat scents on the board. Unfortunately, the oldest is a 1941. We did add an FS-103-1972 Philadelphia Minted DDO scent to our collection, so I'll definitely take that. The copper was kind of light, only 2 pounds, 2 ounces, but I figured it would be kind of light based on the end coins that we saw. 
Surprisingly, we did get five Canadian cents, the oldest being a 1964 Laureate portrait. I don't think any of these will need, but we'll obviously check them compared to the book at the end. We got three 1959s and one 1969 San Francisco. Good to see it, but not the DDO. One box down, one box to go. Let's slide it over, open it up, see if it looks better on the top side than it did on the bottom. You know what? It actually does not look that bad on top. It definitely has less copper than I'm used to based on the end coins, but it looks like there might be a little more copper in this box, so that could be a good sign. Let's continue on with the hunt. Roll number 51. I'll bring you guys back in when I have a first find of box number two. Roll number one of the second box will give us a wheat scent right off the bat. It's number nine of the hunt, and it's a 57 Denver. Roll number 58 of the 100 roll hunt will finally get us to our 10th wheat scent, and it's a damaged 1948 Philadelphia. Roll 63, weed scent number 11, a 1954 Philly. Roll number 71 of the hunt's gonna give us a find. I've only found one other time in all the boxes I've searched. Unfortunately, it's not in the best shape, but fortunately in the same roll, I had a large date to show you with it. Under the scope, I have two 1970S Lincoln Memorial scents. And on the screen, that's the large date a nice rounded uh, nine, and the seven is below the nine and the zero, and you can see it's below here as well. To the left, though, we found a small date. A couple of telltale signs. First of all, all the top digits line up. The seven is not below the zero like it is on this one. And more importantly, this hook on the nine is squished in a little bit compared to rounded. It's not in the best shape at all. I already have one in the book. We're looking for the 60 small date, but it definitely is a 1970s small date scent. And uh, they're a lot more rare, but they need to be in really nice condition to fetch a lot of value. In this shape, five bucks or so. Probably worth a little bit more for someone who needs it for their collection. Either way, that's a couple of varieties found through 71 rolls, and we got 29 more to go through. Very next roll, roll number 72. We now have a dozen weed scents. It's just another 1957 Denver though. And I'll make mention, because I forgot to mention it in the last clip, I do have a video on small day coins. I'll have that up here pinned for your guys' convenience. Roll number 80 of the hunt. Weed scent number 13, a baker's dozen. And that's another San Francisco minted 1951 this time, wheat penny. Roll number 89. Weed scent number 14, and that's a 56 Denver. Same roll, make it 15 weed cents, a 48 Denver this time. Roll number 90, weed scent number 16 is gonna be a 1941 Philly, so of course, once again, we'll just check it for any of the doubling that could be on this coin. There's three different DDOs and I've done videos on them, but that's not one. Ty's the oldest find so far, Nothing in the 30s yet. Roll number 96. Wheat scent number 17 and ninth of this box. And it's a 1958 Philly. We need one more to get double digits in box number two. We have finished box number two of the two box hunt and we didn't get the 10 wheat scents in it. We only got nine, but we had eight in the first box, nine in the second for a total of 17. And that's not that bad. Unfortunately, nothing before... 1940, the oldest were the 1941s that we found, both not the DDOs. Copper was about the same in both boxes, four pounds, three ounces overall. So two pounds, two ounces in box one and only two pounds, one ounce in box two. And I thought it was a little bit better, but it ended up not being so. Canadian cents, we ended up with six, only added one more to the board. We got five 59s and three 69Ss, no DDOs. As far as DDOs though, we did get that 72 DDO FS103. We got the 1970s small date scent, and I'll have to compare it to the album to see if it's better. I doubt that it is. It's only in XF condition, and it's not red. And then I did find another odd scent. It's a 1999 Philly, and I went to scope it to see if it was the wide AM, and it's not. But take a look at that. We definitely have the strike on top of whatever's going on in the planchet, and I don't know if that was a hair or something or just a wrinkle in the planchet, but it's definitely below the strike. Thought it was kind of cool. We're going to go ahead and hold on to it as a miscellaneous find. Don't see those too often. 
Now what we need to do is compare all of the finds to the albums, and I don't think we're going to have any upgrades or any additions. We didn't get any bright and shinies, and we didn't get any older Canadian scents, but we do need to check it. Let me go ahead and do that. I'll be back with a look at the books and some final thoughts on today's two-box hunt. I have finished comparing all of today's finds to both albums, and as expected, and unfortunately, no additions and no upgrades. If you're wondering about that 1970 small date, I already have one in there. It's a little bit better than the one I have with less damage, not so much the color, but I already got one. We still need the 60 small date though, and I haven't found that one. That being said, it was still a fun hunt. We scored a couple of dye varieties, which I'll take any day of the week. And now, after 263 boxes searched, we're still stuck at 208 of the 234 cents for this Dansko Lincoln Penny album. As far as the Canadian cents, we've hunted 77 boxes worth of coins, still stuck at 62 out of 115. And like I said, we need 2002s and newer, and then of course, older like the King George V and VI ones. Probably not gonna find too many of those in circulation, but we'll keep it going as long as we can. Hopefully, despite the lack of additions and upgrades, you guys still found this two box penny hunt fun. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting and thanks for watching.